video games. They've been around since the caveman times. Never mind, it was 1958, but it was basically caveman time, so cut me some dang slack, all right? The first video game was called Tennis for Two, which was basically Pong before Pong. No, not that Pong, your frat boy, the one your grandma knows. Which might be the same one. A couple years later, circa 2000... This one. The first Let's Play was uploaded to YouTube. It was just some dumb loser playing a video game talking to himself. That'll never catch on. Oh wait, it did. Well, as an outsider, especially in the late 2000s, this may seem like an odd thing, and you may think, why not just play the game yourself? Well, you watch other people play sports, don't you? Why don't you play football yourself, dad? While playing a video game seems like a much more feasible option than getting 21 of the boys to pass the pigskin around, have you looked at game prices these days? For example, the new Resident Evil game. Don't get distracted. The new Resident Evil game is 60 bucks, and I'm not going to show that out no matter how attractive Lady Demetrescu is. But wait, I want to see what the game has to offer and I don't have $60, so what do I do? Well, in that case, you can watch Markiplier play and it'll be a similar experience of playing the game on the couch with friends, hence the term Let's Play, which means let us play, and us means me and my buddy Markiplier, which I've definitely met in real life. A lot of people use Let's Plays as a substitute for playing a game, and it has a similar feeling to playing it yourself because you would see what would happen anyways, even though you aren't in the driver's seat. Hold on, this isn't driver's ed, let's talk about video games. Yes, you have someone in the corner of the screen yapping over it, but it's the same as if your brother Jimmy was in the room while you were playing. Yes, Jimmy, I know I need to go into the other door. Oh, hi, pretty lady. Something that gives more authenticity to this idea is live streaming. This is it because you're experiencing the same things as the streamer and the viewers at the same time? While you aren't getting exactly the same experience you would playing the game yourself, it's still similar to loading up a game at a friend's house and watching another person play. And in this case, your friend is a stranger on the internet you've never met. Unlike Markiplier, I've definitely met him. Well, you may be wondering, why do people watch non-story games like first-person shooters and Minecraft? Well, not everyone gets dubs eight hours a day like Ninja. And also, Minecraft, that's just cool to see what other people build. A big reason people watch first-person shooters is because they want to take notes on how other people play. For visual learners, it's better to watch a video about how to crank 90s as opposed to reading an article on Fortnite Incel. I mean Intel. It may seem silly to watch something you could easily do yourself, but for that, I must go back to the sports analogy. At the end of the day, a lot of good comes from gaming videos. This can mean experiencing a game you may not be able to afford but still want to play, learn a new tactic or even find games you wouldn't have known about otherwise. This comes into play a lot when looking for games to play with friends. If you hop into a discord call with the boys, you may not know exactly what you want to play and some of the games that may come into mind are what you've seen YouTubers play recently. For me, there have been countless memories that have come from this, and they wouldn't have happened had we never seen that game in a video. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to end this video, but I just wanted to thank you for supporting me in switching my content to mainly just commentary stuff the last year. Also, I just wanted to thank you for supporting all it is that I do, whether it be this, uh, streaming, whatever, whatever it is. I, w I just wanted to thank you. But yeah, the second channel I'm starting to post on there now. Um, the first episode of the Metallica podcast should be up by now. Um, and also, uh, I plan to post some more just random content on there. So if you can go check that out, it'd be much appreciated. Also, I'm starting to stream a little bit more on Twitch. Um, so yeah, if you could follow me over there, uh, and also check out, uh, the second channel and also check out Discussion Parade, it'd mean a lot to me. So yeah, thank you for supporting me in all that I do. And, uh, yeah, it, it truly means a lot over the last seven years, uh, the last, the last year for sure. I've seen the most support uh, from everyone that I've seen ever. So yeah, it means a lot to me. All right, thank you, bye.